When you're writing smart contracts uh, that have a large amount of money involved, it's important that you get it correct, right? When code is law, you want to get the law right the first time. And so what we've developed is an ontology for what constitutes a smart contract, what are the core principles in a smart contract, uh, to make sure that they capture the intent of the writer of the contract. We've also put together a program, programming language called Plutus, which is our first attempt to uh, build a language for writing smart contracts. It's a, a, a pure, functional, strictly typed programming language. Uh, and it's also uh, simple enough that we can create custom variations of it specific for reasoning about smart contracts, uh, various domain-specific languages that have uh, the ontology embedded right into the language. The way that a smart contract, or really any transaction on the blockchain, is structured is that uh, when I send you money, I don't really send you money. What I do is I create uh, a little program that says, you're allowed to use this money if you can provide certain information. And then when I run this program with that information, the program either says, yes, good to go, you can use this money, or it says, no, you haven't, you haven't proved that this is your money. And so Plutus is the language that governs uh, when something is uh, usable by someone else. As part of the work on the ontology, we've been working with Professor Simon Thompson at the University of Kent in the UK. He and his graduate student, uh, Pablo, have put together a fantastic paper that overviews uh, a number of options that exist currently, and we tried to extract from that as much, uh, as much insight as we could that could then be distilled down into the ontology. And then for the design of Plutus itself, we've been collaborating with uh, Professor Philip Wadler at the University of Edinburgh, uh, who, among other things, is one of the designers of the Haskell programming language, uh, which many people may know as perhaps the most popular functional programming language uh, around currently. Uh, and it, it's such an amazing pleasure to be able to work with both Simon and, uh, and Phil on these things. Um, uh, it's really a, such a great opportunity. <laughs>